Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about my flex cut carbon jack. And uh, this is a knife that has, it's essentially a, it's the Swiss Army knife of carving. It's got um, several different chisels, uh, some gouges, a V tool, a spoon gouge over here straight cut chisel, and a carving blade. This has great steel, uh, good quality, holds an incredible edge. And from my experience, if you're um, going somewhere, have to pack lightweight and not carry um, quite a bit of stuff, this is um, a great tool, ha tool to have. Uh, the only drawback that I found with it is working with it for several hours. It's just not very comfortable in the hand. Um, the um, This one that I featured last night in the uh, 10 Knives in 10 Days uh, by Warren, I find much more comfortable. Uh, the Carbon Jack does come with this strop for sharpening all the different accessories um, and has some rouge that comes with it as well. And that does a admirable job of uh, sharpening it. Now, I had some requests to see uh, some of my other neckerchief slides that I've carved. And we'll just go around the table. Uh, this one is just an arrow. But what's kind of interesting, it's like a yin and yang. And what I would do is flip it back and forth periodically. And uh, the sharper uh, scouts would catch on and kind of laugh, they'd giggle when the other ones wouldn't catch on to it. All right, then we have uh, another bird, an Egyptian um, hieroglyp, hi, yeah, hieroglyph kind of uh, figurine here. This is just an eagle that I carved. Can't remember why, it's definitely not a neckerchief slide. It's quite a bit bigger. Um, have a canoe and uh, you put that on through the middle there I like that one a badger several eagles let's see where are the eagles here's the other one this is another Northwest inspired um, Native American uh, salmon here TP This is a donkey, I can't remember his name, but it's a uh, Boy Scout um, character. Several other uh, Native Americans. This guy looks like he's up to no good, sniffing around. Uh, here's another eagle. Another Indian back here. A couple totem figures like you would find on a totem pole. This one, and then this guy here. He's like what you would find at the top of a totem pole. And he's hollow in the middle to put it on your, your slide. Have a buffalo. This wasn't carved, but uh, just shows how you can make something pretty nice real easy. That's just a piece of driftwood with some shells. Uh, we went on a trip to Florida to Sea Base, which is a uh, one of the national scouting things, and we uh, stayed on a um, sailboat for a week and scuba dived. Uh, a cardinal, one of my Easter Island Moai that I didn't show last night, and then I figured I'd feature them again in better lighting. It got dark on me yesterday. These guys are interesting because um, they actually depicted real people that lived at one point in time and they all have different faces. All right, let's see. Here's a female mallard duck. That one I did not feature last night, but this one I did, this is the male. And then I wanted to feature the hummingbird again. Let's see, you got a turtle here. 
gator, black death from Africa, the water buffalo, silly old cow, a saw, dolphin, that's another sea base inspired uh, thing. Then we have a knight. This is a salty sailor. An owl. Beaver. One of my favorite motorsports events is that Dakar, which happens every um, January. And it's a race essentially through the desert, usually in Africa or South America. And this is a copy of the trophy that they hand out. Let's see, we'll come over here to a car. I would wear this for uh, Pinewood Derbies, which is a Boy Scout, well, actually Cub Scout race where they build wooden cars and they race them against each other. I am a uh, Parrot Head Jimmy Buffett fan. So I got these two guys, a Parrot and a, and a Pirate. Then I wanted to feature, let's see here. This is a Mercury Dime. And I tried to do real silver leaf with this. And the way that process works is you cover it with um, varnish. The varnish unfortunately yellowed, but um, Mercury came out pretty good. Here's the um, Indian from the uh, Buffalo Head Nickel. Lady Liberty from one of the gold coins. The symbol from the uh, Indian head penny. Here's the uh, Confederate coin. And I can't remember what they called her, unfortunately. Another Lady Liberty, and this one was actually gold leafed. And I guess the um, you don't see the yellowing of the varnish as easy on this as you do the silver leaf. And then a couple I did not carve, but I thought were interesting. This is just what's inside of a walnut shell, cut in half. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, this was something that they gave us at the National Scout Jamboree and I turned it into a slide. This is a sundial, just a uh, piece of oak. And I uh, wood burned the the numbers in there and then uh, cut out a piece of brass for that came up pretty nice this is a Boy Scout symbol that I never actually finished so that's the majority of them I think I have a couple others I know I have a kayak somewhere but I could not find it talk about one other thing and I'm going to insert the picture of it at the end if I can find the picture. So back in the 1960s, um, a scout went to the Jamboree, and I can't remember this, how I got hooked up with him, but uh, there was a man named Ed Choby, and he came up with a design for quite a few of these. And um, this, man, who's, this guy who's a man now, and, uh, but back then he was a youth, he uh, wrote to Mr. Toby, and for that jamboree, the symbol was George Washington praying, the painting of George Washington praying. And uh, he wrote to Mr. Toby, who wrote him back this letter and came up with a neckerchief slide design, and he was going to charge him a dollar and 25 cents for it. So what I did, I actually um, went ahead and carved him one, painted it, and sent it to him, and I'll, hopefully I can find that picture and insert it. And I went ahead and cut one out for myself, a blank, but I never have finished the one for me. So that's uh, what you can do with a knife. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Come back tomorrow for day eight of 10 knives in 10 days, and check out some uh, uh, of the other videos that that guys are posting. They are... Uh, Really good stories associated with them and uh, quite a great thing. Thanks for watching.